Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. Well, being the last trading session before Christmas Day, the market is pretty much traded in a choppy price action on Thursday and at present still holds a slightly vulnerable topside challenge. That being said, the market still should be a little bit more wary to the 60-day simple moving average, which is currently around 72.6590. It is anticipated that as we slowly climb towards this top side, could see a bearish ambush and see the market turn or reverse and look towards that 72.05 to around 71.55 support and reassess from there. However, with the festive season right upon us, we could see the market being a little bit quieter than we've recently seen. The dollar index, which measures the greenback strength against a basket of six major currencies, reclaims some of its losses, but only minor, after rising up towards a region of 96, 11, 12 area. This also put a little bit of a twist to the euro that's posted a week or a very small dragonfly doji. Nevertheless, as we approach that top side, resistance that is around 113.45 to about 114 figure 5, where I've put a blue line here as a cap or a near term cap, should eventually see the market reverse and look back towards the support region of 112.70 or even lower down towards the 111 region, which I'm still holding as a potential target. Nevertheless, from the technical pattern, we've moved pretty much in a luck in a lacklustre price action due to the sideways pattern here. But still, upside test should continue to fail with the 114 capping. I do expect to see the bears returning. The bulls have been pretty much in control since the rebound of that 112.65 level at the beginning of December, with the top side target challenged around 114.15.25 area. The market is getting a little bit tight towards that top side of the range in terms of the fact is it may struggle because we did see a previously drop heavily from that uh, high 114 and I feel that we're getting very close to the am bearish ambush and see the market turn back towards 114.10 and down to 113 and a half and reassess from there with the base holding around 112.65.75. In light of the pound, it's still relatively bullish. I've been pretty much positive since I noticed the bullish divergence that came through. The many rejections from that 131.5 level and now claiming that top side target, which is around 134.10, now looks towards 134.60. With well, the bulls still in a prime position to take the market higher and liquidity being a little bit thin, we may see a further rise into the European session and look towards that 134.60 or 135.30 and that is reassess from there. So we move this up to about 135.30 gives you a bit of an idea is where the peaks were back here in November. Kajen slightly more positive that we've recently seen but still getting close to that top side resistance, close to around 89, 70, 90 area. I feel that as we get closer, may see a rejection. Partly the reason is the, um, the, the yang leg being weaker has seen a bit of a positive outcome. But nevertheless, I feel that we're getting close to a rejection and see a look back towards that bottom side of the range. Finishing up with gold and oil. Gold is still maintaining its positive stance since rebounding off that 1,788 level. Not really breaking out of this range though, 1,757 to 1,815. The market is soon, I expect, to see a rejection and look back towards that bottom side of the range with a cap still holding at this stage at 1,815. And finishing up with oil, the market's a little bit stronger still and pushing further towards that top side range, which was around 73.65 and now weaker. But still, if we see a close above there, could put $76 a barrel on the radar. Well, that wraps it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And I would like to wish you from myself, Rob Clayton, and also from ECN Trade, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.